I turned radio off. What were we listening to? What, the archers? Oh, I don't know. When did they start? About half past ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. You haven't commented on my hair, Marion. How Sorry. rude. I haven't, no, but it, it's very nice. It's b better than the yellow that it was the other day. I don't know. Your hair always looks nice. Oh, thank you. But, um... Yes. So this is the pink. Yeah, but it's not pink enough for me, see? Yeah. It's too subtle. So either, like I, I've got some pink hair dye probably at home somewhere. So either I pink it up a bit more or I'm going to dye it the um, the proper grey, like, yeah, like the steely grey. I might do that. The only thing is you've got a bit of Einstein <coughs> on in the back. A bit of what? Einstein. Oh, I know, right? It's awful, isn't it? That bit there. Yeah. It just keeps sticking up. No, it looks like you've been... Um, had a hat on and pulled the hat up. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Or electrocuted. Yeah. It looks like I've been electrocuted. Thanks. <laughs> oh, here comes the cuckoo clock. I always feel like he's got a private joke. What, the cuckoo clock? Yeah. What kind of private joke? No, I don't know, just the way he echoes at the end, you know, like, ha <laughs> ha, Oh, he's going, <laughs> Is he going to stop? Oh, no, he does 11. That means it's 11 to o'clock. That's right. And it must be coffee time. Oh, for sure it's coffee time. Got a really, really dry throat. I got it. At the moment, a really dry throat. Ah. Right, okay. So, yes. obviously I've been on a really strict clothing ban, Marion. Yes, I know. Because I'm, I'm not allowed to buy any clothes well, because... Well, that's what you tell everybody. Yes. Oops. Um, work. Well, I mean, I filled up again all of the rails and I bought a new rail and somehow that managed to fill up yes. as well. But what can you do? So I've only bought a few more things. Oops. Oops yeah. Right, online I bought, like off eBay, I bought yeah. 19 vintage dresses. Yes. And I say vintage and in inverted commas because some of them were basically just granny dresses from the market. That just oh, because okay. they look like they're in yeah. an old style, okay. like that doesn't mean that they're vintage. Oh, right. So um, they're either getting binned or sold on or donated or something because okay. they're not very nice. But um, some of them are drying on the line right now at home because... They were from a reseller, you see, someone that does sell like oh, vintage that's the clothes. One your mom, you left with your mum. Yes, yeah. Oh, so, right. mummy's very good at cleaning okay. them. But like, they were all nicely packaged enough in yeah. like you know these plastic envelope things. Yes. But then when I opened it up, it smelled like. Oh dear. Um, oh, no, it wasn't like bad. It just smelled like they'd sprayed Febreze in there and oh. then sealed it, but had done that like a year ago. Oh. And then the Febreze, had, I don't know, or whatever spray they put in there, had kind of had like a bit of a chemically, like a false nice smell, if you know what I mean, yeah. rather than smelling fresh. So wash them all. They're all on the line at the moment. But I did five yesterday so I could stick them straight online. Yeah. I mean, they are hideous. <laughs> they are all, all hideous. Okay. So these are more for fancy dress purposes. Um, but I, okay, and none of them have got any like particularly amazing brand labels or anything. Yeah. But, eighty style prom dress. Yeah. I mean, if I get a tenner for that, yeah, it'll be, be a yeah, fucking miracle. No. Um. Well, you never know. Again, this exactly. is more for fancy dress. Actually, this is quite cute. This is a little nineties. Oh, like a little nineties ditzy print dress. Yeah. So that should sell. Yes, you know, I do like that. it looks handmade, but you know that's okay. It looks like a petticoat to me. Oh, it's it's not. It's it's um it's fully polyesterized. Beautiful. I love the colours. Mm. It is quite cute though, isn't it? Yes. It's a little nineties dress. Uh, this one I I'm not entirely offended by either. <laughs> Although I mean it really doesn't take much. Well, it, actually it takes a lot to offend me. Um, 
Does this have a brand name? No, but it is 100% viscose. Way. Hey. Look. Um, oh, and that's, that's viscose. But that's nice, isn't that it? That is very pretty. And there's a little kind very of... Very pretty. I would wear that. A little... If I was 60 years old. I was going to say, like, in my, and also, like... So it fits my head. Oh, well, what more do you want? And that's about it. Oh, yeah, dear. saves a lot of... Mm. But, yeah. you know, a tenner on that. That's yep. cute, isn't it? Nice little print. I think so. Um, most of the dresses were of this kind of ilk. Oh, I like that. Really? I'm just looking at the colours. I'm not looking at the style. Yes, that'll be a granny somewhere. That's a very granny somewhere, isn't yes. it? But again, fancy dress purposes, we're looking for, you know, eight or ten pound on that one. And then another just, well, again, it could pass as a tea dress, what? I suppose. You could definitely yeah. dress that up to I look would, a bit 1940s. Like the little, you know, pockets on the, on the boobs. Yeah, I would like that. Yeah? Okay. It's a size. It's like a nice size. It looks like a 16, I think. 16. Yeah. 16. Yeah. Yes, I do like that. Label thing. cut out. Swines. Why do people cut out labels? Are they embarrassed? Is there an issue? Oh, yeah, there is that, I suppose. I right. It. Now, I want to proper stuff that I have bought and chosen, not just like a random right. job lot off eBay. So, obviously, all of these are delicious and delightful and beautiful in every possible way. Apart from this one, no. Um. Someone came in the other day and commented on all of the cool 90s stuff I had, so that's quite cool. Mm. So I thought I'd brought in, bring in some more 90s stuff. So this is a lovely, very practical white yeah. Adidas shell top. I love with um, unfortunately I put it through the wash, but these marks on the back just don't want to come out. Okay. I know. Um. So I don't know what that is, or how to remove them, but. I'll just have to say, look, there's marks. But, you know, if you're wearing it to a festival, and it is white, it's going to get exactly. mucky no matter what. Exactly. I reckon I could still get... I, I like paid it. I paid £2 for that. I reckon Whoa. I could get 15 or 20 Yeah. We'll try it. Now, look at the print on these shorts. Hey, hey. Isn't that fabulous? That is super cool. Gorgeous, aren't they? Super, super duper cool. How much like these have never been worn as well? You can feel it, you can feel it. They're 95% cotton and 5% elastane. Okay, they cost me five pounds, How five pounds, three? but they're Ralph Lauren, so oh, okay. oh, well. that's kind of understandable, really. Yes. So, I'd hope to get 20 or 25 on them because they have never been worn and they, yes. they, they just smell of nice, fresh cotton or not even fresh cotton they just smell of nothing you know yeah just like nothing you. like me no i definitely smell of something oh, oh hang on someone's oh, trying to ring me go away that. go away i don't like well i don't know if the the the, the phoning thing anyway so escada trousers as i was saying bought them for a pound there is a bloody mark on it when i thought they were new Never mind. I'll have to clean that off. That's a shame. But yeah, £15 on them. Once I've cleaned them. Beige chinos. Very safe colour. It is a very safe colour indeed. Um, yeah, I don't know why I stopped recording. I think maybe when I had the phone call, yeah. it stopped recording. That's annoying. How cute is this though? I don't know. Is it hard? If I can work out which way around it is. Yes. Isn't that lovely? That is lovely. Little crochet and beaded cardigan. Wow. There's no... That's really cute. There's no make. There is a bit of a label which just says 100% rayon. Ah. But got lots of little beads and things on. Can't go wrong with so, rayon. Paid a pound for this. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, wow. It is super cute. So again, for festival season and shizzle, not like it's going to keep you warm or have any kind of practical use whatsoever. Like me, I will keep you warm, but I have no. Yeah. 
I won't keep. I cost a pound, and I yes. have no practical yes. use. That's me. Yes. I'm also an abstract concept, as someone once described me. <laughs> okay. I thought that was the best description of me ever. An abstract right. concept. Um, for one ninety nine, this like kind of fade out sort of jean style, but it's very yeah. soft, very soft. Uh, what did make me laugh about this waistcoat is in the little description inside. Okay. Like this is one hundred percent cotton, um, but it does says Gwebe mit auswash chefket eisen einline no eins line of links geos gen washen and regal massy gitten I'm Warren build sind gewalt. That made me laugh. No, really. <laughs> Okay, specially made fabric with typical fade out effect. Irregularities are normal and not reasons for complaint. Ah. Ah, ah. <laughs> I quite like that. Yes. <laughs> it's like so German, just like, it's meant to look like this. Fuck yes. off. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Um, £12 on that one, maybe. Mm. That's yes. quite cool. That looks, yeah, very soft looking. Oh, it's lovely and soft, Marion. Um, a Nike sweater. It's not vintage. Do you know how I know it's not vintage? Because on the inside, I mean, I could just look it up and see that it's not vintage. But also, it's got the website address on it, so it's not vintage. Yeah. But I paid two pound forty-five for this. Well, it said two pound forty-five on the label, but I think the guy only charged me a pound. Possibly, yeah. I didn't really add it up very well. Or maybe you charged me two pound for it, but it's not fake. It's got like Nike on the thingamabobulars. Look, and and you've got you've got a website address. And a website address it's for worth free. That much. Yes. Worth it just to. And also, right, the guy that wore this had the most amazing aftershave. Oh really? Oh, I think I'm in love with him just from this. <laughs> Oh, he smells delightful, whoever he is. Oh, wow. I need to find this man. Yes. Oh, he smells heavenly. So good. It might be Izumiyaki. Oh. Well, not the guy. It's not going to be Izumiyaki no, no, that wore this, that. but yeah. <laughs> yes. What's he doing in Bridgend? Um, okay, honestly, Marion, if you saw this colour poncho. Yeah. Whoa. I would have to be. Going would you walk to... past that? Would you would walk over? Would but... you really? <laughs> no. It is quite. Yeah, in your face. Unusual, shall we yes, say? Yes, but what do they? Um, oh, for goodness' sake, where do they all go to that outdoor rave? Outdoor rave? What in America? So here. Here, glass. Are you thinking of festivals? Glastonbury. There is no Glastonbury this year. Uh, well, Unfortunately. that would be sad. But there's lots of other festivals. We have some good festivals in Wales, by the way. If you, okay. There's Festival Number 9. Right. Um, and um, Green Man Festival in Bracken. And the Bracken Jazz Festival. Alright. So, we're hip-hop and happening here in Wales. But anyway, this is... Um, I bought it because it looked hideous. And it feels really soft because it's cashmere. Oh, I bought it for one ninety nine. No, no, no. Cashmere is no. lovely and soft. You're thinking of mohair. Oh yes, probably. But this is cashmere and it's super, super soft and lovely. Oh. And it's by a brand called J Lay. Okay. And this brand new would have been forty eight pounds. Wow. For a poncho, and that's the cheapest one on their website. They go up to nearly three hundred pounds for some of their ponchos. I know it's bonkers. Okay. Absolutely bonkers. So I paid one ninety nine. I'm gonna try and get twenty five thirty pound for it. Why not? Give it a bet. Well, I think the color is gonna sell it because, like, it's fantastic. It is. Trust me. Yes, the color. I'm a doctor. Amazing. Well, one day I will be a doctor. A doctor of film. Uh, yes. I will. Now, is this the last thing? No, second to last thing, because obviously. What I should be buying in summertime on the hottest day of the year so far yes. uh, is a nice wool coat. Oh, why not? With with a, a 
like a what they call it. It's not roll neck, funnel neck. Ah, uh, funnel neck. Funnel neck. Oh well. But you... this, again, the price on it says three pound ninety five. But I don't think I paid that. I think he charged me less. Wow. Yeah. Well, they're nice in in that shop. Because I'm in there like every day buying yeah. stuff, habitually. But it's a zip up thing, and where's the brand gone? It's very nice. You can tell it's wool. Um, but it's from a brand. You are a compulsive buyer. I am a compulsive buyer and a compulsive liar, and a compulsive no. flyer, and a compulsive hair dryer. Um, it's just called Valmeline. Valmeline. Okay. I think. Well, it sounds French, doesn't it? Yeah. But these go for about thirty to forty pounds online. Okay. And it is made of um, Oberstoff and Cherville. Ah, oh, well. Um, eighty percent virgin wool and twenty percent nylon. Are you happy with that? Well, I do like a virgin, so. Well, there you go, darling. Hmm. Or an eighty percent virgin, at least. I don't know what one of those is. And then the last thing um, is another pair of shorts. Yep. And they've got little, like, you know, the captain's wheel things, little nautical things. Yeah, yeah. These were one ninety nine. dollars cute. These are Tommy Hilfiger. Oh. So I was quite happy with that. Yeah. Um, so I should be able to get £20 them, but I will have to clean them because of the dodgy semen stain. Oh no. Ew. Gross. I mean, it might be glue. Yeah. It might be uh, wallpaper paste. It could be. I am not doing a taste test. Oh, gross. <laughs> no way. Okay. No. It could be ice cream, I think. It's not ice cream, Marion. Okay. It is something quite Unspeakable. ew. Yes. I'm hoping it's not the same guy that had the Nike jumper because, oh, you know, no. now I think a lot less of him, to be honest. But anyway, you should get some money for that one after I very carefully washed it. A little bit of a laundry. Yes, we're just putting that one back in there, I think. Oh, and I bought a belt for 50p as well. Really? Nice leather belt. Very good. Um, Did it very say a good. maker on it? It might just be Dorothy Perkins or something, but it's leather. It looks all right. Again, quite a hippie kind of hippie boho log and look, yada yada yada, and all that shiz. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for today. We've had a we've had a ruckus in the shop today. We've had an an uh, th there's been arguments, hasn't there, Marion? <gasps> Scandalous. There's there's a new getting my head rounded. There's a new person wanting to move in, and. They're arguing over the prices of the units um, because the prices have gone up. Um, but we pay a bit less because we've been here longer. You've been here eight months and I've been here nearly a year. Is that right? Something like that. November, December, January, February, March, April. Yes. Seven months. So I've been here ten months. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. But we can't have people complaining about things like no. that. It's still a good price, isn't it? In the bathroom, why not? Anyways, so um, it's someone's getting married this weekend. So. Oh, yes. uh, oh what are we going to do on Saturday for royal wedding? Oh my word! Yes. I don't know if I'm going to a party or if we should just have a party here. Um, this is about I'm, as patriotic as I get, though. Well, I'm on the bus, so I'm happy to do a party. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, I've stopped drinking. You don't have to have a drink, Marion. You can just have some lemonade, you know. Yes, I know. See, for me, I automatically think, get sloshed. Look, I don't know. Well, that's your issue and not mine. Yes. <laughs> right, and what, what? I have a feeling <coughs> I just... You haven't painted over a Clarice Cliff, have you? Well, he asked me to. He asked you to paint over a Clarice Cliff. Where he's fixed it up. 
um, you know, I think between the two of them downstairs, they put. Um, they use the wrong kind one of, of glue. The little thingies came off, so they've used a special thingy glue. glue yeah, um, and refashioned it all together like a. Anyway, so I've had to paint it, but I have a feeling I've turned what should be a pear into an apple. You've turned a pear into an apple. Yes. Now, not everybody can do that. No, that is kind of magical. Not Even anybody. Jesus didn't do that, Marion. Oh, he could have if he wanted to. He could have if he wanted to, but he found no use for it whatsoever. No, none at no. all. However, he did curse a pear. He did a what? What? He cursed a fig tree. He cursed a fig died. tree. Oh, well, that's not very nice. I quite like figs. Yeah, but it wasn't bearing anything, see? Oh, so so just because it, it didn't have any Was fruits. It but that's, maybe it just didn't want it. We all have the parable, right to choose, Marion. It's a parable. Okay. But, you know. Now, what sort of... The right to choose yes. whether we bear fruit, okay? Oh, oh well, if you're being good, you bear fruit anyway. Oh, but what yeah. if I don't want to bear fruit? Well, then, I don't know. I'm reducing the carbon footprint by oh, not bearing okay. fruit. So therefore, better for the world. What do you think? Definitely. Okay. It's definitely better for the world if I don't bear fruit, that's for sure. Anyways, we've been chatting about, like, like nothing, and, and it's still recording. Oh, right. So, I think maybe you should confess now. Confess to what? Yes, I think you should confess to all your people that you now are a car boot that I've I've gone to my second car boot this year and I spent no, three pounds. So confess, get it over with. But they they're the kind of people that like that though. They go to car boot sales every oh, weekend. Oh, well. It's them that should be confessing to me that they spent too much, whereas I only spent three pound. Yeah, well that's what I'm saying. I mean three pounds. Well, I should have second ever. I should have spent more. Did you see the haul you got? It's true, I did get a decent amount for my three pound. But now it sounds all mysterious because I haven't shown these guys what I've bought, so now I'm gonna have uh, to add well, watch this space. Watch watch that Keep space right eye there. Eye. Yes. Don't watch this bit, just that bit right there. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm gonna say goodbye now. Goodbye so now. fork off. <laughs> bye now. Um, bye bye now. Bye. Oh wait, wait, wait a second. I'm just gonna pause, pause, pausing Karen. Just watching her 49p clothing haul. All of it 49p. No, no, no. <laughs> God, if only. Eh? Um, right. So Marion said that I should tell you what I bought in the car boot sale the other day. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and then some odds and sods that I have also bought as well. One is which might be quite possibly the greatest purchase ever. Um, right, so car boot sale. It was the day after Eurovision and um, I'd been staying at my friend Scott's house and then he, we went for breakfast and then he dropped me off in the morning and I went to car boot sale at about half past 11 just as everybody was going, fuck this. Which would be my response kind of all the way through a car boot sale if I was doing one, to be honest. And so, um, got there at about half past eleven. One lady was just packing everything up and she had a couple of just... Well, it was a box of random, obviously vintage stuff and then loads of forks and things at the bottom. And then there was a couple of, like, brushes and hand mirrors and stuff. And I asked her, oh, how much for the set? And she said, oh, like, two pounds a set. And she kept pulling these things out. She goes, oh, make me an offer. And I said, three pounds? Which tends to be my my standard response at car boot sales, apparently. Three pounds? And she said, oh, go on then. So she got a bag and she just started putting stuff in the bag. So what she put in the bag was... Um, so I've got uh, 1950s or 60s hand mirror and brush. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, look, look. There's Karen. Look, look at that. That's the German... Oh, wow, look, it's me talking at the same time as seeing me. Again, like, 
things we can do with physics and science and shit, isn't it? It's so cool. Like this Karen on pause. And there's my lovely pictures. And that's outside. And then that's outside that way. Right, so anyway. God, I'm so easily distracted, aren't I? So I've got that set. So this is all of this for £3. And then this set with like little... Uh, sort of, well, they're not porcelain, it's just going to be plastic. What well, looks like porcelain little pictures on the back. See? Um, with bonus hair. Free bonus hair. Mm, uh, I didn't really like that. That would be weird. So I've got them. I got um, this. It's unfortunately got a nice crack all the way through it. But it is a vintage powder puff and talc that's never been opened. It smells like dead granny. Um, and I got a candle. Again, like 1950s or 60s, never been used. A couple of monkey doilies. I don't know if they're meant to be that colour, but they certainly are now. Uh, actually, they don't smell bad at all. It's just granny's stuff, isn't it? Um, and then, last few things. I got these pots which are really badly damaged and everything and they're not really worth anything at all but I might give them to Marion to paint and then again got these which were covered in a plastic and all the plastic is coming off so just going to take off the rest of it get rid of the verdigris and they'll either hopefully look quite nice polished up and stuff or again, Marion can like paint over them and keep them, sell them, do whatever she wants with them. But I thought that was okay for three pounds, really. You know. Right. Other stuff that I have bought is. Um, have I got much clothes? I haven't got much clothing to show you, which is good. So this is just a River Island dress, which I bought for one ninety nine, and I bought it because I could see faces in it of murderers. Can you see faces of murderers? I mean, I think I always see faces of murderers and things. You know that Rorschach test? You all, have you all done a Rorschach test? Um, where you can see faces and things. Oh, look, there's a butterfly and there's a butterfly murdering someone. And that's a big devil face. So anyway, this dress spoke to me. But I think, um, I know, good festival where I should be able to get, say, 12 or £15 pound for that. It's kind of cool, kind of groovy. Um... This glass bowl, now I love green glass. Have I said that before? I love green glass. It says it has, it's got a £2.50 price sticker on it. And it's been in the charity shop for about two months. Um, and nobody wanted it except me. So I could wear it as a hat. So nobody wanted it. And so I said to them, like, is there any way that I could get that a bit cheaper? Because I don't want to pay £2.50 for it. And he said, pound fifty. Yeah, go on then. So I bought that for a pound fifty. It's, I mean, they're not overly rare. It is Art Deco. It is nice, but you'd only get about like ten, twelve pound for them, really. So don't go out rushing to, you know, buy them all. But again, it's just because I like green glass and I like having it around. So today I bought some more green glass. This is a lighter green. It's a nice big pitcher jug again, Art Deco. One has got someone has got one of identical to this. For sale on eBay for fifteen pound at the moment, but I don't think it's worth much. I paid a pound. I'd happily take, say, like twelve pound on that one, or even keep it because I just think it's fab. I just love green glass, and you know me, not just green glass, but I also love French glass. So there's that. Again, it cost me a pound. You don't get a lot for them. I'd be lucky if I get eight quid for it. Do you know how I know it's from France? Because it says France on. Who? It says France on the bottom. <laughs> uh, normally come in pairs. If I had a pair of them, obviously I could maybe get about £12. But, you know, it's still cool. I still like it. It's very, like, 50s, 60s looking. That's why I like it. But, yeah, I just... I like green glass and I like French glass, okay? But, again, don't go rushing out to buy it because you're not going to make your millions on it. And then I bought some little bits. I bought sort of for me and then maybe to sell eventually um 
folk, what's it called? Folk and fairy stories from Czechoslovakia. This was a pound. This was just because I quite fancied it and because some of the titles of the stories are fantastic, uh, uh, you know. Um, so the main one is called The Firebird. That's quite a long story. Then Princess Slata. And then my possibly my favourite one is The Fairy Who Stole Eyes. Eyes. But aren't the, like, the illustrations are fab? This is from 1943. And, um... I mean, some little shit at the beginning has, like, coloured them in. Like, you know, kids, man. Don't give kids stuff to kids. You know, they'll... And also, they're colouring inside the lines. Like, what a square. But, you know, respect books. Don't colour them in unless they're colouring books. You know? Never mind. Never mind. I suppose it just adds to the character, doesn't it? Um. Oh, here's you, Rorschach. I see oh, a bunny rabbit with its heart exploding. So anyway, that was pound. They don't go for much on eBay between a fiver and a tenner, but again, that's just more for me to put on my bookshelf and keep for a certain amount of time if it ever tells. Um, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. It was 99p. It's goat fur or antelope fur. I think what I was thinking is that... Um, uh, one of my grandmothers, my dad's uh, mother, who lived in South Africa, once sent me something like this, and I remember thinking it was hideous, and so I threw it out, and then for some reason I've gone and bought one identical. I can't find them on eBay, or at least I didn't look very hard for them. But, I don't know, again, for caveman fetishes, maybe they want a nice little goat fur pouch. I don't know. I think I might have been drunk when I bought this. Who can say? Um, what else did I buy? I bought some little earrings because, you know, I haven't bought enough jewellery recently. But I, I bought these, again, more for me to own them rather than to sell on because they don't sell for much. Maybe about 8 or £10 pounds if I'm lucky. But um, cute little pussycat earrings. Can't see them because my big ugly this is in focus there and then there's some other ones which has got kitties on they look a little bit like laurel birch a little bit but not enough to actually be laurel birch which is a shame because otherwise they'd be worth about 30 40 pounds i mean i will double check and just make sure that they're not but i really don't think they are they're not cartoony enough to be laurel birch but anyway they're still quite cute and now it is time for the greatest... Oi! Cat! Oh no, it's Shizuma, it's okay. Sorry, I'm just cat... Shizuma, it's okay, I didn't mean to shout at you. We have a, a naughty stray cat that keeps coming in and eating our cat's food. And I thought that that was the cat then, but it's not. It's mine and now she's run off scared. Shizuma! <coughs> baby! Come here, baby! <coughs> Anyways, the greatest purchase anyone has ever made ever. Okay, maybe I'm bigging that up a little bit too much. It is a piece of jewellery. I paid one ninety nine for it. It's not vintage, or at least it doesn't predate 1990 because it has the lobster claw on it, which, as we all know, wasn't painted to, to, until the 90s. However, in this sense, it's a good thing that it's the 90s. It's very good. Because it is a Spice Girls necklace. I know you're all so jealous. So, original 90s, spice up your life. Or spice up your wife. That might hurt. Um, but yes, I have checked completely unsold. There's none at the moment. In fact, according to Worth Point, the last time this sold was I think it said 2014 for $20 uh, which is okay however I am gonna hold off listing this one until they are on tour or they release a single or one of them dies Ooh, which one? place your bets now kids um, and then I'm gonna list it and then I'm gonna make my millions off of this Look at my dirty fingernails. Oh gosh, I'm terribly sorry. Sue, don't look at that. That 
It's awful. Um, yes, I think that is it. So I'm going to tag this on the end of the other videos I made about other stuff. And then I'm going to upload them and I'm going to finish watching Karen. And hi to Stee. Like, thanks for the mention in his fab videos. That jazz hand is just for you, kiddo. Anyways, I shall see you next time. Oh, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.